This is going to be a quick video on how to create an eBay store sale using your Markdown Manager. So I had for sale a pair of really nice uh, sterling silver cufflinks. They were modernist, abstract in shape. They showed a piano player. Really nice stuff. They were signed by a designer, uh, A.N.H. Mackey. I had these listed for about two years. Nothing happened. They were just sitting there. Just yesterday, I received an offer of $300 for the pair, and I decided to take it, even though I had seven people watching the cufflinks. So since I decided to take the offer, what I decided to do was, instead of just lowering the price, because sometimes you lower the price and uh, the person isn't motivated to buy. They go, oh, he lowered the price. Good, I'll buy it next week. Sometimes you lower the price, they never buy it, and then you forget to raise the price. And it just sits there low, and you could actually just raise the price up and maybe get a better offer. So what I decided to do was to create an eBay store sale on that item. This is how I did it. The first thing I did was I clicked the My eBay tab on the top right-hand corner of my page. Then when my eBay page came up, I scrolled to the bottom of my eBay page. What you'll see in the section under Summary is a section that says Sell. In that Sell section, you'll see All Selling, Schedule, Active, and other things. What you want to do is you want to click the Active tab. Clicking the Active tab will take you to your my eBay active selling page. The next thing you'll do when you're on that page is scroll to the bottom of that page. Towards the bottom of that page, you will see a shortcuts tab. You'll see things like my vehicles, buyer tools, etc. Uh, towards the bottom of that, you will see manage my store. Click manage my store. When you get to your manage my store page, what you'll do then is scroll down the page until you come to the manage promotion, store email marketing, markdown manager section of the page you will click Markdown Manager. The next page that comes up after you've clicked Markdown Manager will be your Markdown Manager page. On that page, you'll see a tab that says Create Sale. Click that. The next page that comes up is the page that you will use to create your sale. On that page, there will be certain information you fill in, like uh, choose a sale title. That could be anything you want. It could be like, uh, I need a new pair of shoes or I need to buy a car. Fill in a title, no big deal. Then it says choose a start date. Very straightforward. You choose the date that you want to start and the time you want to start. One thing to note is it uh, right next to choose a start date, in the time, it is U.S. time for the Pacific Coast. If you're on the East Coast like I am, make sure that you set the time three hours back from what it says because then your sale will start soon or, or right after you click create and not three hours later because you're on the East Coast. Anyway, um, you've entered that information. Next, you just choose your discount, and you could either go for a percentage, which would probably be easy if you're doing a, a, a large variety of items. I was only doing one item, so I decided to just discount the original price by a set amount. Since I was offered 300 I discounted mine by about $200. Anyway, after you've entered this information, again, you'll scroll down the page, and then you'll get to a section that says choose your listings. I was only choosing one item for the sale, so I selected the select listings individually tab, and then I selected my item and listed individually. If you're listing more items or items by a category, you will use the, the tabs above that. Anyway, once you've done that, you're pretty much ready to go. Just uh, click the Create Your Sale button, and you're done.